when you think of haunted places, you probably don't think of the beach. It's supposed to be a place to relax and let go of your worries. But beaches also have seen tragedy. I've told you about the events that have left Savannah's River Street haunted, and nearby Tybee Island is no exception. People walking along the beach at night have claimed to see figures that can't always be described. Let's talk about shadow people and the Tybee Dune Man. Imagine walking along Tybee Beach on a moonlit night. Off in the distance, you see what looks like people running back and forth between the water and dunes. As you get closer, you see that there's something off about these people. Their shape isn't right, and their movements don't look human. Some visitors who have spent an evening stroll along the beach report seeing these shadow people. They don't seem menacing, but they also don't seem like normal ghosts. Most of my experience with the paranormal has been with the usual hauntings, phantom footsteps, disembodied voices, and the occasional apparition. Shadow people aren't something I really understand. So I asked my friend Rebecca the Ghost Guide for some help. Something to consider with shadow people is that the description can actually get really wide. Oftentimes the general person cannot really make out physical descriptions of spirits and the third eye or whatever you want to call it may translate back to them a shadow in the shape of a human or in some cases other. As far as who these shadows are, well, ghosts, they tend to take up space like either in specific spaces where they were in life, like personal houses, businesses, etc. But oftentimes they try and find space for themselves that are not otherwise occupied. So this could even mean hallways of those homes, basements, attics, etc. But as far as who those spirits are, well, one kind of definition, the way to explain it would be that spirits could be following water. Water washes onto the earth, offering energy and the constant connect from liquid to solid. Another theory could be that these could be spirits from shipwrecks or drowning, or maybe even just people who dreamed of being by the sea and wanted more time by it before moving on. Based on what Rebecca told me, the shadow people could very well be spirits of people who drowned off the coast. There have certainly been more than a few. They could possibly also be soldiers. During the Civil War, the Union set up long-range cannons on Tybee to reclaim nearby Fort Pulaski. Fort Screven is also located on the island and was used during the Spanish-American War, as well as both world wars. Coastlines, especially at night, especially during the colder months, offer a lot of space for spirits to dwell without bothering the living. Of course, the figures that run back and forth between the water and the dunes aren't the only things haunting Tybee's beach. There's another entity called the Tybee Dune Man. The stories about the Dune Man vary a bit. Some people describe him as a big shadow, others say that he's a full specter without a face. The Dune Man seems to show up most when there's a thunderstorm. Something very interesting, I have been speaking with a friend of mine. She's currently getting a degree in psychology. She's getting her doctorate. And she's actually focusing on schizophrenia. And even then, she says that the electromagnetics, even from smaller things like batteries, they can enhance visions. So whether, you know, great instance, in her case, she's looking at cases with schizophrenic people, it also kind of works the other way as far as what can help us to see the other side. And not only us, it also offers energy to the other side. So should we be wary of these shadow people? In my experience, it's best to keep an open mind and not assume one shadow is the same as the next, especially if the person witnessing the shadow is not used to supernatural experiences. So the next time you get the urge to walk along one of Tybee's beaches at night, be prepared. You just might meet the Dune Man.